Google just introduced a brand new AI model. It's called Gemini 1.5, and it's a massive leap over the previous model, Gemini 1.0. Remember Google Bard last week, it actually got changed to Gemini. That was a branding thing. But the model that drove Bard and Gemini was called Gemini 1.0 Pro or Gemini Pro 1.0. This model 1.5 has three major improvements over the previous. I'll break it down here in this video. And there's still this Gemini Advanced model that is still powered by Gemini Ultra. So this one is not getting changed, but I believe Gemini 1.5 is getting rolled out to this version of Gemini. Unless they introduce some kind of middle tier here, we're not sure yet. They haven't talked about pricing of 1.5 if it's going to be free. Right now, it's going to be rolling out in a free preview. So I'll show you the biggest update here. So Gemini 1.0 had a context window of 32,000 tokens. Okay, that was pretty typical of large language models. GPT-4 Turbo released one that was 128K, much bigger. Claude was the leader with 200K. And then Gemini 1.5 decided to go all the way to a million, and they're even testing a 10 million token context window. Okay, so what is a million context window, actually? It's basically 700,000 word prompts. So you could give it entire books, entire trilogies. It also could do one hour of video. That would be close to 1 million tokens. 11 hours of audio. You could give it a code base up to or over... 30,000 line of code. Currently in the same context window, I couldn't even really get to a thousand line of code without something going wrong. So this could be really incredible. And again, they're testing out something with a 10 million token. Now, as far as when it's going to be available, and then I'll show you some of the actual use cases for it that they demoed here, incredible. But the 1 million token is right now in private preview and it's really in the API version. So it's really made for developers. The 1.5 Pro, though, is going to get the standard 128,000 token context window, which, again, is a significant bump from the 32,000 that's available inside of Gemini 1.0. So it's going to give us basically what GPT-4 Turbo has. Again, that's a pretty large context window. But once we get to a million token context window, I mean, 700,000 words, I've never really had anything that was that big. I had to, like create entire books and they still were only like 120,000 words. So that's going to just open up a whole world of possibilities for different AI foundational models. And I'm assuming Claude, ChatGPT, those, those guys are not going to just stand behind Google and let them get to a million without them actually trying to increase their context windows too. Now, let me show you this quick video that Google actually posted here. This will show you Gemini 1.5's real power, especially when it comes to context window. And basically, Gemini 1.5 is beating Gemini 1.0 in 87% of the times based on some of the studies that I've seen here. So it's a massive improvement. So complex reasoning is at a whole different level. And they basically said it's comparable to Ultra 1.0, which I made a previous video about and I'm doing a deep dive video that we're posting very soon. But Ultra 1.0 is the best version they have, but they're saying Gemini 1.5 is going to be comparable to that. And this video that I'm about to play basically took a 402-page transcript of the Apollo 11 transcript, and he used it as basically the way they prompted Gemini 1.5 Pro. This is a demo of long context understanding, an experimental feature in our newest model, Gemini 1.5 Pro. We'll walk through a screen recording of example prompts using a 402-page PDF of the Apollo 11 transcript, which comes out to almost 330,000 tokens. We started by uploading the Apollo PDF into Google AI Studio and asked, find three comedic moments, list quotes from this transcript, and emoji. This screen capture is sped up. This timer shows exactly how long it took to process each prompt and keep in mind that processing times will vary. The model responded with three quotes, like this one from Michael Collins, I'll bet you a cup of coffee on it. If we go back to the transcript, we can see the model found this exact quote and extracted the comedic moment accurately. Then we tested a multimodal prompt. We gave it this drawing of a scene we were thinking of and asked, what moment is this? The model correctly identified it as Neil's first steps on the moon. Notice how we didn't explain what was happening in the drawing. 
Simple drawings like this are a good way to test if the model can find something based on just a few abstract details. And for the last prompt, we asked the model to cite the time code of this moment in the transcript. Like all generative models, responses like this won't always be perfect. They can sometimes be a digit or two off. But let's look at the model's response here. And when we find this moment in the transcript, we can see that this time code is correct. These are just a few examples of what's possible with a context window of up to 1 million multimodal tokens in Gemini 1.5 Pro. Now remember, it's not just about text with Google. So Google with Gemini, with Ultra, they're really trying to take things to the next level in multimodality. GPT-4 is still the leader, best vision in class right now, but it looks like this version of Gemini is really going to give GPT-4 a run for its money. So this version actually used a 44-minute silent film as a prompt. So the multimodality is it could basically be fed code, audio, video, images, text, and it's going to be able to use that as the prompt. So let's take a look at this. And again, these previews that I'm showing you here, they're really not yet available to the public outside of the preview window for developers. But just imagine where it's going to go as soon as it becomes accessible. Obviously, we'll cover that in deep dive tutorials. This is a demo of long context understanding, an experimental feature in our newest model, Gemini 1.5 Pro. We'll walk through a screen recording of example prompts using a 44-minute Buster Keaton film, which comes out to over 600,000 tokens. In Google AI Studio, we uploaded the video and asked, Find the moment when a piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket and tell me some key information on it with the timecode. This screen capture is sped up, and this timer shows exactly how long it took to process each prompt. And keep in mind that processing times will vary. The model gave us this response, explaining that the piece of paper is a pawn ticket from Goldman and Company pawnbrokers with the date and cost, and it gave us this timecode 1201. When we pulled up that timecode, we found it was correct. The model had found the exact moment the piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket and it extracted text accurately. Next, we gave it this drawing of a scene we were thinking of and asked, what is the timecode when this happens? This is an example of a multimodal prompt where we combine text and image in our input. The model returned this timecode, 1534. We pulled that up and found that it was the correct scene. Like all generative models, responses vary and won't always be perfect. But notice how we didn't have to explain what was happening in the drawing. Simple drawings like this are a good way to test if the model can find something based on just a few abstract details, like it did here. These are just a couple examples of what's possible with a context window of up to 1 million multimodal tokens in Gemini 1.5 Pro. And I'll put a link to this page so you can see the other videos, but it also has different problem solving skills that it didn't have previously, especially if you use this for coding, this is worth a watch over here. Now I tested this out with my version of Gemini. Google, if you ask Gemini a question, what model is using, it almost never answers. So I can't really figure out if I have Gemini 1.5, but based on the context window, I don't have it. I tried to do something that was higher than the 32K token context window to see if I have the 128K, I don't have it yet. So this is an announcement, it's not really a release. So we'll see as soon as they release it and I have it, I'll obviously do a comparison video. And I also made a comprehensive detailed dive comparing GPT-4 with Ultra 1.0. So that video is gonna get released. So if you're watching this later, I'll post it here, but it's gonna be released later this week. It's the most comprehensive test I've ever done. I spent almost a week testing 10 different categories of prompting. So that's going to be released very soon. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.